Unless you've been living under a rock this morning, you should know that a brand new five minute massive trailer has dropped for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. You're actually seeing it right now and it goes over a bunch of new features. But in this video, not only will we go over this trailer and yes, the official press release related to it that details the stuff that's in it, we also are gonna show you brand new footage that's not in the trailer. We're also gonna show you brand new footage that's not in the trailer due to various updates around the web brand new screenshots, and even new information on things we previously did not know about this game that was not again in the trailer, guys. This is a comprehensive thing. Nintendo gave us a lot of goods today. So first, let's get to the press release, and I want to mention that, hey, shout out to Nintendo Everything. They're the ones that posted the press release up that we're going to read right now. I also want to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so if you're really enjoying the Zelda blowout, and if you don't know anything about Nintendo Prime, man, we we give premium coverage to Zelda games. You're going to want to stay tuned for all things Echoes of Wisdom. All right, without further ado, let's just dive in. It says, during her quest to save the kingdom, Zelda will encounter inhabitants of Hyrule, dealing with all sorts of problems. Helping solve their troubles is all part of the journey, and the adventure log makes it easy to keep track of all quests. For faster travel, objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land, and once discovered, allow players to return to them quickly by selecting one on the map. Her trusty steed will also aid Zelda in traversing the overworld of Hyrule faster, hopping over small objects with ease, and even galloping through weaker enemies. Throughout Hyrule, players may come across smoothie shops manned by business scrubs, where collected ingredients can be blended into delicious drinks. These smoothies have different effects depending on their ingredients, such as replenishing health. Zelda can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance certain abilities or simply change up her look. When creating Echoes isn't enough, Zelda's companion Tri can help her with a peculiar power called Bind, making objects follow Zelda's movements. It can unearth buried treasure or reposition troublesome enemies, for instance. Bind can even be used on Echoes. Alternatively, Reverse Bond allows Zelda to follow creatures or objects' movements. Utilizing Bind in Reverse Bond, players can uncover hidden paths or find multiple ways to overcome obstacles and solve puzzles. Reverse Bond can be used to make a boulder follow Zelda to open a hidden area or to link her to a flying creature and temporarily take to the skies. So obviously in this, we have a bunch of new things to go over. Deku Scrubs are in the game, Pharaon's in the game. Uh, there's just so much going on. You know, these bond and reverse bond abilities, that's what they call it. So bond is where you can, you know, grab an object and it just literally moves with your character. So it's not like in Tears of the Kingdom with Master Hand, where you can like free move it anywhere you want and go up and down. This is actually just, no, it just links it with your character. As your character moves left, it moves left the same amount. So pretty interesting, but the reverse bond is even more fascinating because reverse bond is literally just, hey, where was that character gonna move next? Like, was it a spider that was next to a wall and a spider would typically climb up that wall? Hey, reverse bond to it and you will move with them instead of them moving with you and you could actually combine these abilities to create new ways to solve puzzles. We knew there was going to be more abilities. We just didn't know what they were. Now we have a good look. There could be even more abilities beyond this. It's not as if we have the full reveal of everything. As an example, towards the end of the trailer, they jump into this portal that seems to take them to the other side, right? The into the the miasma, into the mess, into the fray, into the purple goodness. And in the end, uh, what well, we've kind of maybe seen a couple snippets of gameplay that might be from there. It's still like we're not really sure. Is this something that's like more like the depths and tears of the kingdom? Don't really know. And the fact that you could just like bond a random like birds and just fly with them. I don't know. I find that to be pretty fascinating. Honestly, this is a very in-depth look at this game. I'm so happy. One thing that's fun to note too is, hey, for once you don't really have to like do a lot to go into Gerudo Town because that's in the game, right? Because you're already a chick and, you know, because boys aren't allowed. Well, you're just Zelda. You go just walk right in. I just find that to be awesome. Everything in this game is looking absolutely incredible. But see, 
while we're focusing obviously on this massive trailer they dropped today, we need to make sure that that's not all we talk about because there is so much more going on. So we have extra minutes of gameplay, but I think one thing I want to make sure we focus on is some of the individual things. Anyways, I want to make sure we take a look at these screenshots and I do apologize if they come across a little bit blurry. Nintendo didn't have full resolutions of these. I had to uh, get them off their website. Anyways, we see Zelda here riding uh, her horse. We do see in the trailer that there are different horses so it's not just like one like you're not just riding epona there's actually different ones you can get it doesn't explain quite how we get the horses but it is interesting and remember once you learn the echo ability for a carrot you can summon your horse anywhere in the world by summoning a carrot so that's fascinating then we see uh this next one here where zelda is talking to presumably a gerudo in their shop you see some peppers there you see the blue whatever those things are we don't know yet uh some sort of potion with hearts on it so probably a healing potion also a slipper you can buy so some new attire pretty interesting get to our next screenshot here we just see like zelda has either captured and or learned a copy ability here for a fish we don't know what type of fish it is obviously some sharp teeth there but pretty fascinating and a lily pad next we see zelda we've kind of seen this scene before it seems to be at the top level of whoever this character is uh in their shop uh with another lady over to the left some carrots and fish and all this uh yeah pretty interesting uh, as we move over here we see the more Faron woods area and we're seeing the deku scrubs which are very very excited to see the deku scrubs also we see zelda free flying with a bird rather than using uh the reverse bind ability so you also could just glide freely with certain birds i think that is very fascinating maybe you even learn how to copy one so you can do it again kind of cool that this is in here because Obviously, we've been gliding with Tears of the Kingdom and uh, Breath of the Wild. And we've used Cuckoos in the past with other Zelda games to glide around. So gliding's in the game. I find that just to be a really nice addition. Next up, we see what looks like Hyrule Castle Town and Zelda talking to the citizens with a couple soldiers. I don't know who these citizens are or what their names are or if they have side quests or what's going on. Is that one over to the left that's in the air that you just jump in the air in excitement? Are these people helping with their adventure? I have no idea. Are they just coming to Zelda with complaints? Beats the hell out of me, but it's a really nice scene. I'm glad Castletown is back. Uh, next, we see that purple stuff taking over again. The rifts, uh, really, really big one. This might be even an entry point into the rifts. Uh, here we see a dock area. Again, we don't know where this is connected to, but you see a Zora up there in the top right. Uh, various different Hyrule City citizens. We also see a boat. I do wonder. It's a fishing boat, but is that like Beetle? Is, is Beetle's shop in there? Remember from... Wind Waker, when Beetle was uh, flying, you know, not flying around, but, uh, you know, had his own little boat operation going to different places. Is that possibly a Beetle shop? I don't know, because there's another boat. There's multiple boats. These boats maybe don't move. They could just be a, this could just be a dock village of all things. This could just be a giant dock village. So very fascinating there. Uh, next up, we see where is the opens up. Hey, rupees are in the game. Not that we didn't think they were, but there you go. There's your red rupee that's usually worth 20 that Zelda got out of a chest. All right, here we see Zelda getting a smoothie. So it mentions in the trailer that there are those Deku scrubs that can um, that, that are actually running these shops. And at these shops, you can get different smoothies made with different materials you have collected. So think of it sort of like cooking and, 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 and stuff like that in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, except it's smoothies this time. Uh, kind of a nice little uh, variance from what we get accustomed to in the last two brand new Zelda games. Okay, this is one of those warp points they mentioned. Uh, so you can unlock these throughout the world for quick travel. Zelda, you know, you know it's a really, really massive world if they if quick travel's needed. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next up here we see Zelda just riding on top of the, one of those spinners enemies that you can summon. And we also see one of these fire enemies here. I believe that's a brand new enemy. We don't know what it's called, that fire enemy on the right, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to find out if that is just a take on a former enemy with a new art direction or if it's a brand new enemy. Uh, next up here, we see the Gorons. Obviously, Gorons are in the game. Uh, you're making some food here or something like that. You know, pretty awesome. Obviously, I'm just really glad that they have River Zoras and they have sea zoras and they have gorons and they have deku scrubs like this is awesome man they got they got so many races in this game it's really exciting uh next up we see where zelda is obviously meeting what i believe is the king of the sea zoras so that's pretty awesome and they live in separate areas although there's a conflict the trailer mentions 
Uh, here we see her talking to some, some Gerudo. Don't know uh, if that one in the middle there is maybe like the leader of the Gerudo ladies. We, we're not really sure, obviously, because they didn't introduce these characters to us yet. Here we see the King of Hyrule is in the game. That's right, folks. This isn't a game that just mentions the king, but we never see it. No, the King of Hyrule is here. That's what this looks like anyways. If this isn't the King of Hyrule, I'd be shocked because you see the, the four royal crest in the background. So uh, yeah, this definitely looks like the King of Hyrule. I'm pretty stoked for it. I don't know if this person on the left is just a standard soldier or an important character. This person on the right, we already saw in a prior screenshot. So clearly those characters have names and, and play specific roles in the game, but we don't know what those roles are. Uh, next up here, we see her uh, down in the... Well, you guys know, right? We're now we're now probably in some mountainous area here, talking to the Gorons. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about what we're gonna have to deal with in the Goron area. Next here, we see a screenshot of what is presumably a boss. If not a boss, it could be a mini boss, but it, it's a pretty big creature. So I'm, I'm presuming that this is actually a boss fight or a little preview at a boss fight, which is pretty awesome. Uh, next up here, we see uh, an image. Just this one I wanted to show off. We'll have we'll have a, a look at this later in a video clip. But where Zelda's in a pot, and you can actually move with the pot. It kind of reminds me a lot of like the barrels in Wind Waker. Remember when you, when you could hide under the barrels and sneak around? I don't know if this has a sneak component to it. Like, can you dive down into the barrel to hide from enemies? But uh, or into this case in a pot. But I, I just thought it was interesting to look at that. It has some official art to look at as well. Uh, the first one we'll look at here is Zelda just holding out the staff and all that. Uh, in brand new attire with a ponytail uh, so there you go more traditional zelda attire but then ponytail it up because why not uh then we see another look at try nice up and close with official art and then we see another look of zelda official art riding on the horse now we got to get into the video clips and the video clips are really fascinating so uh, we got all of these video clips off the official Japanese website. It was a bit of a pain in the butt to get them, but I hope you appreciate the work went in. They're all 1080p, so not low resolution. Um, and we have a lot of stuff to look at. So the first one we're looking at is just one we've seen before. It's a little clip of that purple stuff taking over Hyrule. Uh, the citizens are scared. Link falls in. You guys know this isn't like like brand brand new outside of a couple new scenes. Like we see the King of Hyrule and those two characters we mentioned before get sucked up into it. We didn't know that before. That is new. Uh, next clip we're going to look at here is where Zelda learns how to get the copy ability for the bed. Again, nothing like groundbreaking there, but still it's footage on its own high grade. Uh, we're seeing uh, another footage here that you've mostly seen before where Zelda threw the rock and gets the Boca Bling copy ability and then uses that copy ability. So that's pretty cool. But don't worry, we have some other brand new stuff. Here we see the beds uh, being used. And what's interesting about the beds is this entire thing is showing that enemies can indeed break echoes. So like we, we didn't know how enemies would attack echoes or what happens if it does. And here we see that Zelda actually, yeah, she's using beds as like a distraction and, and for the Octorok and it's shooting and it's breaking them while she picks up a rock and throws it. So yeah, it, it's actually uh, kind of interesting that, yeah, they can obviously break these echoes. It looks like they break them in one shot. Same with the keys that did it too. Uh, next up, we have footage where Zelda puts his bed up and then just takes a nap. I don't know if this is a way to heal or a way to pass time because it doesn't really show time passing and it didn't explain it in the trailer. But yeah, there you go. Uh, Zelda can just go take a nap. Uh, I'm presuming it's to pass time or to recover health, especially if you're not being attacked. Uh, next up, we see the pot here where she throws the pot at, you know, <laughs> we don't know if these are choo-choos yet or, or, or what they exactly are, but you can see lots of pot action going on and she used it there to distract a guard. So the pot broke, but here's what I was talking about where she's moving with the pot, doing a little hopping action. She's using that to get across hot fire areas. I mean, the, the pot looks like it actually has a lot of uses. And there you go. You can indeed hide in the pot to hide from enemies, just like you could in Wind Waker. I love that that's back, but then they expanded all the different use cases for uh, a barrel in this case, but a pot. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Again, I told you we had brand new footage. Uh, next up here, we see Zelda kind of just traversing along. And it looks like the most she could summon is four trees. I think that's something we're learning here. She can summon four. So I don't know if that's like a, a, a limit on how many things you can summon at once. But you can see her using the trees here for various ways of solving puzzles 
and doing different things. Uh, you're going to see her use a torch where she lights it on fire, which ends up lighting the webbing on fire. So that's really fascinating. Then we get to this next piece of footage where we've seen this before where Zelda's using the beds. And again, you can kind of see the four limit. There seems to be a limit with the ability of four. So people thought maybe it was just limited because you would never be able to summon a certain amount due to the amount of little pieces you have to use to turn into summon. But it just turns out there's just a limit. You can only do four. When you do the fifth one, it deletes the the, the first one you put down. Think of that more like, uh, if you want to like liken it to the Breath of the Wild, remember when you could make the, all those pillars of ice? You were limited in how many of those pillars you could make? That's kind of what they're doing here with the copy abilities. And then that's it for our brand new footage. I'll replay some of the newest clips that show off the newest ability in some of the trailers here as we round out our coverage of Echoes of Wisdom for right now. Obviously, Nintendo has decided today is the day they're starting the marketing campaign push for Echoes of Wisdom. Uh, I, I, I fully suspect we're going to get screenshots and art and, and other little clips and commercials all throughout this month. I want to make sure I shout out Andres Restart, my friend, because he was the one who kept telling me, I think Nintendo's going to do a big blowout of this stuff in, you know, in... in August and I was like nah man they might wait till September I was wrong he was right and that's okay I'm excited to get our Zelda coverage going guys stay tuned right here we should have another video coming your way later today it should be about something else but either way I'm just really happy guys uh, Echoes of Wisdom is looking better than ever we're gonna have to talk about all of this on the live stream tonight and on top of that we're gonna have to obviously have a great discussion here in the podcast. And you know what? This might not be the only Zelda stuff we get this week. They might be blowing this game out for two straight months. So I'm pretty high. Like, I'm pretty hyped right now. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all this new information on Echoes of Wisdom down below. And let me know if this is a game that you're buying day one. I'll catch you in the next video.